Welcome America, welcome Taylor Swift. Today we are gonna go do some review for our unit one and two um, test. And today we're gonna do a couple examples on complementary and supplementary angles. And then I think we're also gonna get to an explanation of the difference between vertical angles and linear pair, which is really vocabulary. A lot of it's vocabulary. So we'll start with complementary. When you see, okay, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. When you see the word complementary, two, they tell you that two angles are complementary. That means, is this turned on? Yes, okay. That means that two angles add up to 90 degrees. You guys have never seen me record in this class, have you? Have I recorded in here before? Mm -hmm. One time? Okay, yeah, usually I record in my other classes and they're so used to it, they don't, and you guys are all like, oh my gosh, she's recording. It's no big deal, it's the same, right? All right, so what was I saying? Complementary angles. Two angles that add up to 90 degrees are complementary. You have to know that when you see the word complementary. So what this is telling you is that these two angles, when you add them together, equal add up to 90 degrees. So that's how you write your equation. And we don't have a diagram. We could draw a diagram if we wanted to, but all we really need is 4x plus 34, plus, not the 34, plus x plus 36, adds up to 90 degrees. Good? I know we've done these problems already. So um, what did you get for the value of x here? Somebody, uh, we did this last class, so what'd you guys get? Number four. I'm recording, come on, somebody. Four. You got four? Did anyone else get four? Okay, I'm getting yes to four. So when you solve this, it's the hat. No hat. You got x equals four. Now, are we finished? Unfortunately, we're not. It's asking us to find their measures. So we are gonna have to take that four and plug it in for x to find the measure of angle A, and then plug the four in here for x to find the measure of angle B, and the two numbers we get should add up to 90. How are we doing? This is okay? You're gonna have a problem just like it on your test. Okay, the next problem is very similar, except one difference in green. They are telling you that these two angles are supplementary. Supplementary means they add up to 180 degrees. So when you write the equation, you're gonna write 2x plus three plus three x minus 223 adds up to 180 degrees. That's the difference between the two. So notice we've wrote several equations today. We had our first one, problem number one, and I'll attach this worksheet where we had the diagram and we had, we had two angles that added up to 90. The second one, we had two angles that added up to 180. Then we had an angle that was bisected, so they were set equal to each other. And now we've got some more problems. So every problem is different. Um, not every problem you add up set equal to 180. You have to look at the diagram and the information that you're given to determine how to write your equation from your diagram or from the information. So uh, when you solve number five, what do you get for X? I know you guys have already done this. Number five, x equals, you got 80. Did anyone else get 80? Confirmed, 80 is the answer. 80 it is. Then you take your 80 and you plug it in to find the measures of those angles. Now, if you want to, if you get one of them, you can subtract that from 90 to get the other one. That's fine. But if you make a mistake in finding the first one, and then you're just gonna assume that you know the answer for the second one. It's better to do both and just make sure that they're right, make sure that they add up to 90. How are we doing? Okay. We are going to move on to vertical angles and linear pair. Can I erase this? Okay, remember, all these answers, and I'll attach the answers as well, are written out here on the key. So if you wanna look at this later, if you're looking at the video and you wanna look at the work and you try the problem again and you don't get 80 for your value for X, 
you can come here and look to see what mistake you made. And it's probably something simple like a negative or you subtracted X from one side twice or something. So let's go over how to create vertical angles. If I take any two lines that intersect, they create what are called vertical angles. The measure of those angles are the same vertical angles. So if this one's 40 degrees, then this one's also 40 degrees. Those are called vertical angles. This diagram also creates a second pair of vertical angles right here. Okay, those are vertical angles. So in this diagram, in blue, a nine and seven are vertical angles. And in green, six and eight are vertical angles. Um, what else? Um, red, one and three. Did you see any others? Thank you. Two is not a vertical angle because the other side of two is five and four, and that angle is broken up, so those are not vertical angles. Um, that's it. Those are the only three, three pairs, one and three. Seven and nine and six and eight are the vertical angles in the diagram. Good on vertical angles? Yeah. Okay, let's go to linear pair. A linear pair, and this is just more vocab, two angles that are adjacent, so they have to be right next to each other. They have to share a side and a vertex. Here's the side that they share, and here's the vertex they share. And they form a straight line. So they're a linear pair. Pair means two, linear means straight line. So where are two angles, just two, that make a straight line in our diagram? <clears throat> so we've got one and two. We've got um, two and three. Um, what else? Six and nine, nine and eight, eight and seven. Um, this is seven and six. Oh yeah, thank you. 10 and 11. Yep. Those are all vertical angles. Now, um, in orange, this is not, those are not, or sorry, did I say vertical angles? I meant linear pair. We're on linear pair now. 1, 5, and 4 are three angles that add up to 180. So that, those are not, that's not a linear pair because pair means two. If we're given other numbers, besides the ones we just went over, then that would be neither. They're not vertical angles and they're not a linear pair. For example, like seven and 10. These angles right here, here's seven and here's 10. Those are not vertical angles and they're also not a linear pair. Um, questions? All right, we've got eight minutes on our video. Let's move on and do one more problem that I wasn't expecting to do, because why not? We've got a diagram. We've got information that is not on the diagram. Forget this is actually the answer, so forget that. We're going to take the information from um, the problem and put it on the diagram. It's the first thing we're going to do. Find the measure of KFG if the measure of angle EFG, EFG, oh, that's the big angle, is 26X plus 7. The measure of KFG KFG, KFG is 13X plus three. I would normally write it on my diagram, but it's really small and no one's gonna see it if I write it. Um, and EFK in black, EFK is 56 degrees. So together, those two angles add up to the big angle, 26X plus seven. So to write that equation from your diagram, it's 13X plus three plus 56 adds up to 26x plus seven. How are we doing? Still have to solve it for x. Um, when you solve that, what do you get for x? Four, did you say? Four, did anyone else get four? Okay, so four it is. So x equals four. So now we go back to the problem and we read it again and answer the question that they're asking. Sometimes they're asking for X and we're done, but they're not today. 
They're asking to us for us to find the measure of KFG. Where's KFG? Um, KFG. That's this angle, this blue angle right here. And I just drew it again in orange. The measure of angle KFG is equal to 13 times X. Here's our X, our new X, plus three. And then you take out your calculator and everyone knows how to use the Desmos graphing calculator. And then we're done. Good? Yeah. All right, thanks for coming out.